Let me take you back to a couple of days ago. I was in work. Mind my own business. When all of a sudden, a colleague turns to me and asks, How do you get diabetes? So because I've been researching a lot lately, I felt proud, right? This, this is my moment, this is what I've been training for. So I jumped in, both feet, guns blazing, Rocky jumping into a fight scene, started explaining the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes, um, what's actually going on inside my body, what it means I have to do, what my blood sugar should be, how type 2 diabetes is developed by differences in diet and poor diet, eating the wrong things, not being physically active, how type 1 is an autoimmune disease, etc etc only to be shot down when he looks at me blankly and says so you don't just catch it i didn't know what to say he was like what do you mean <laughs> was he asking me like can you catch it like the cold is he worried that he's sat next to me in work is like, i might just come into one one day and just give him diabetes by mistake or was he asking me if you catch it like AIDS? And he slept with a woman who's diabetic and he's, he's concerned. I think I might have caught diabetes. Like, dude. <laughs> That's not how diabetes works. Probably see a lot on the media though, about how diabetes is increasing year on year, but they never really mention type 1 or type 2. It's type 2 diabetes that's increasing in the population. And that is because of fast food, takeaways, sugary drinks, and just sugar in general. Type 2 diabetes is something that you can prevent. And you can even reverse, but type 1, short of a miracle or some scientific breakthrough, we're stuck with that for life. And it's not necessarily because we had a sweet tooth when we were younger, or and it's not because we ate the wrong things or we weren't very active. Some people are quite active. I was listening to someone's diagnosis story the other day, and they were saying they were on a netball team, and they used to train six days a week, and it was in one of the training sessions she passed out. She was in shape. Um, she was hardly ever sick. She just passed out in the training. They took her to the hospital, done a few tests, didn't know what it was. She went back to training a few days later. She felt a bit funny. They called the paramedic because obviously last time she passed out and it turned out she was a type 1 diabetic. She was always eating the right things. She was always healthy. That's the thing with an autoimmune disease. They don't necessarily know what the causes are, how to prevent it, or what can be done. So every time you see these diabetes charities, they actually do need help because they need help looking research into treatment and into curing it and finding out what causes it so they can prevent it in the future. Diabetes is actually a massive killer. Thousands of people die every week because of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. You don't actually realise how serious it is until you start looking at the stats and the figures.